Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean. In every single sport or every single activity, every single whatever it is that you do, there are always unwritten rules that all the regulars know, but coming into the gym, you might not know, or coming into the sport, you might not know. Now, I recently read an article called The Seven Unspoken Laws of the CrossFit Community, and it goes over seven rules that maybe haven't been said out loud in the community, but everyone kind of knows this is what you should do. And I wanted to kind of share it with you guys, see what your opinion is. Maybe if you didn't know any of these and you're like, frustrating people now you do know and if you are someone who knows this and you see someone not doing it you can just kind of be like look at this video the article was written by Robbie Wild Hudson these are his ideas but I thought it was kind of an interesting concept so I wanted to go through the article put it on the YouTube channel and see what you guys think the first unspoken law is to never cheat reps now you may be tired and you may accidentally only do 27 double unders instead of 30 double unders there are mistakes but when you deliberately go and cut reps so that you can get a better score not only are you cutting yourself out of a really good workout you know getting the sweat on getting better every single day but it's a character defect what you're showing is that honesty and truth they don't matter to you trustworthiness that's not a quality you care about and so instead you'd rather have your name up higher than anyone else than to have integrity crossfit is really big on how you do anything is how you do everything and so if you can treat your workouts with integrity and even if it's hard and even if you want to quit you still go through it that translates to other areas of your life the second unspoken law is the last to finish gets the loudest cheers now this one is kind of like a double-edged sword and it's one that I don't like that much um, I don't like being the last person in a workout it is not fun for me it is not fun to see everyone done while I'm still working out a lot of the times the reason I'm the last person is because there's a movement I'm not good at or there's a skill that I'm not I have not perfected or there's a weight that's really heavy for me and so when I have everyone else looking at me struggle with this movement it I don't like it I'm not a fan of it but there is something about having the community behind you there is something about having everyone cheering you on that makes you pick up that barbell a split second earlier that makes you jump back on the ring or whatever just a little bit earlier than you would have on your own and sometimes that leads to failed reps because you weren't ready but sometimes that leads to you pushing yourself into a deeper pain cave than you would have on your own which I think is the reason why I don't like it one because it's embarrassing but also then it causes me to like okay now I have to like push Huh. Now I have to like get deeper into that pain cave that I already was trying to avoid and now you guys are making me go in it. The third unspoken law of the CrossFit community is to not cherry pick your workouts. Now this is important because CrossFit covers a wide variety of skills. It is not just a strength sport. It is not just an endurance sport. It is not just a gymnastics sport. It is not just whatever you want to put in there it is not just that it includes a wide variety of different types of workout which is why it's called crossfit it crosses borders of fitness so if you have someone who's always running right like they run and you know they run and for some reason they're gone on heavy squat day but they're there on interval running day yeah that person's going to become really good at one thing but not really good at anything else the point of CrossFit is to get adequate to get you know pretty good at a lot of things but to be an expert at none you want to be well rounded in your fitness so if you are just looking at the days that look the most fun or the days that you think you're gonna demolish the workout you're really missing out on what you learn on those hard days you learn to stick through workouts that may be difficult for you and you also get better at those skills that you are weak in. It's not worth cherry picking wads so you can have your name on top. It is worth doing the things that are hard for you because they're better for you. Or they make a better you, at least. The fourth rule is to put the equipment back where you got it and to look after it while you're using it. With CrossFit, there's a lot of people using specific wall balls, specific barbells, specific weights. If you're that person who's, you know, at the top of a dumbbell snatch and then you drop that 50 pound dumbbell and it causes the head to pop off and even though you had a really dramatic ending to your workout, now no one else can use that dumbbell, that doesn't benefit 
the class. If you're the person who's warming up and you drop that empty barbell, one, coach is probably going to slit your throat, but two, you're ruining that piece of equipment for everyone else in the gym. CrossFit is all about community. So you want to make sure that you leave that equipment in a good shape for the next person who's going to use it. Remember, these are classes. This is going on all day, seven days a week. If you have one person who's constantly slamming things, putting, not putting their equipment back, leaving it out for the next class, that's going to hurt the community that is what makes CrossFit so special, the community that we have. I know that when you're tired, the last thing you want to do is put your weight away. The last thing you want to do is strip the weight off the bar. But again, it's that character piece. It's that, it's that being able to finish well and not just leave and, and leave it for someone else to do. The fifth unspoken law in CrossFit is to keep your ego in check. The only person you're competing against is yourself. Yes, you're putting your name up on the whiteboard. Yes, it goes in ranking order according to who had the faster time or the heavier weight. But when it all comes down to it, you can only compete against yourself. Are you better than you were yesterday? So when you have a workout that is definitely too heavy for you, if it's like 10 power cleans and the idea is to be unbroken and fast and it's like close to your one rep max but you want that rx mark so you go for it and you end up having a terrible workout and all you did is do 10 power cleans while everyone else did like three rounds of whatever you're not having a good workout the only person you are cheating is yourself while i do understand that sometimes there is a place for ego wanting to get that PR, wanting to be better than you were. If what it's going to do is hurt your workouts, if what it's going to do is slow you down, then the only person you're hurting is yourself. The sixth unspoken law in CrossFit is to be kind to the new guy. CrossFit is a new sport and there are a lot of people who remember that feeling walking into the gym for the first time. They may not remember the wad, but they can remember how that gym made them feel. So it's very important to be nice to the new person, know their name, get to know their name. And if you forget their name, ask them and say, Hey, I'm so sorry. I forgot your name. And they're going to be like, wow, this person cares that they're willing to humble themselves and ask me what my name is, even though they don't remember the amount of times I've had to ask the same person what their name is just until it drills into this thick skull is ridiculous, but it does get the point across that we want them to be there, that they are welcome in our gym. They may not be good. They may not be the best. Actually, they're definitely not good and they're definitely not the best, but they belong. And that is so important. That is one of the cornerstones of creating a community is people who don't feel like they're being judged when they walk in, but that they can be themselves, that they can grow, that they can develop with these people and it's a safe place. So if someone walks in, you've never seen them before, maybe you're in the PM class and you're going to the AM or whatever, and it's a face you don't recognize, just introduce yourself. All you introverts out there, just introduce yourself. Be that person, be that smiling face because People may not remember their first wad, but they will remember how that gym made them feel the first time they walked in. And the last one in this article, number seven, the unspoken law of CrossFit is that not every single movement needs chalk. Now, I feel like this one's kind of a throwaway on the article, but there are people who chalk up for burpees. There are people who chalk up for double unders. And sometimes when your hands are super sweaty, you need to chalk up for double unders. But a lot of the times, Chalking up ends up being an excuse to be moving, but resting. So you don't have to go back to the barbell. So you don't have to jump back up for toes to bar, whatever it is. You don't have to chalk up. And I want to encourage you. This is something that I've been trying to do in my workouts. Say, I'm going to have two chalk breaks. Maybe it's a five round workout. I'm going to give myself two chalk breaks. That's it. That is the only time I'm going to chalk because your grip it's better than you give it credit for. It really is. And a lot of times chalking is just a way to avoid the pain cave just a little bit longer. So you don't need to chalk up for everything. Try to give yourself a certain amount of times that you're going to chalk up. Try to stick to that and see how your workout goes. See if you end up falling off the rig. If you do, that's I don't blame it on me. <laughs> so those are the seven unspoken laws of a CrossFit gym. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with him? I think that for the most part, that's pretty accurate. And I think some of it is just learning how to do community with other people and they should be kind of common sense. But other things are definitely, definitely more centralized to a CrossFit gym. Are there any unspoken laws that you thought should have been in this video or the article? 
Leave them in the comments below and we can discuss them. We can get that conversation going. Maybe we can make our own list of unspoken laws of CrossFit gyms. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Peace. Peace.